Welcome to Celebrating Act Two. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life. So you've decided to adopt a dog. We're going to talk about the benefits of rescuing a dog. And then in another video, join us as we talk about the pros and cons for getting a dog from a breeder. Now let's not be confused. You can get a purebred from a rescue. My dog, Nick, is actually a purebred Australian Shepherd and I found him at the local Humane Society where I work. Welcome, my name is Sarah Surrett with Get Positive and I'm so glad you're here while we talk about the benefits, uh, the pros and the cons of getting a rescue dog. So let's dive in. So you're thinking about bringing home a dog as your perfect pet. I'm so excited for you. And getting a rescue dog is just so fulfilling. The wonderful thing about getting a rescue dog is that there are so many pets in our shelters looking for their forever home. So you're really, truly saving a pet's life. The other wonderful thing about getting a rescue dog is that you have some variety. You have lots of options. You have the opportunity to look at different ages, different sizes, different types of breeds, mixed or purebred. And you have the opportunity to do some introductions, get to know that dog. You can go back a couple times and visit that dog. Good shelters will actually do some intros with your resident dog if you already have a dog in the home. So you can really truly make sure it's a good fit for everyone in the family before you dive into this lifelong investment. The other thing about rescue dogs is that the health box is totally checked off when you bring your dog home. The shelters typically have already given the, the requirements for the minimal vaccinations. They've done some spay or neutering. They've done a health check. So you know what you're getting up front. And the other thing is that they often will give a training discount. Training is first and foremost, even if your dog is two or five, I always recommend that you jump into some sort of training to help build that wonderful relationship with your dog, even if they already know sit down and stay. So some shelters and some rescue groups will offer a $25 return on um, proof of training, or they'll even require a deposit. Um, and then they give that back once you show proof of training. So I think that's a wonderful program. The other thing is that these dogs that are looking for your home are all around you. You have a lot of variety into, into the places of where you can find a shelter dog. You can look at your local shelters, your local humane societies. If you kind of want a specific breed, like maybe a lab mix or a chihuahua, you can even search up your local rescue groups. So there are specific groups to those breeds that often take in from overfilled shelters those types of dogs. So you can do your homework on that as well. There are also online groups where they're rescuing maybe from other countries, uh, other states where they're placing their dogs into foster homes. So you have the ability to look online as well to find that perfect rescue dog for you and your family. The other thing is that the rescue dogs are going to be more affordable. Okay, so depending on where you're finding your rescue dog, again, if you are rescuing a dog from China or from Mexico, sometimes those transportation fees um, and everything that they have to go through are gonna be a little bit more expensive, but for, for the most part, they're gonna be far less costly than going direct to a breeder. Why? Because you're not getting as much of a guarantee with temperament, genetics, size, age, looks, all that stuff, right? So we wanna make sure that you understand the difference between rescue dogs and getting a purebred. My dog, as I mentioned, is a purebred. His owners returned him to the shelter but did get him from a breeder at eight weeks of age and I brought him home at four. So again, you can have a variety of different ages to look at. Four is a fabulous age to start with. And make sure that you check out our other video later about the importance of age for your dog that you're going to bring home. The, the last tip I just wanted to share with you on rescues is what a wonderful opportunity to even join a foster group where you can take in some dogs to rescue for a short period of time or what we call fostering to see if it's a good fit. And you'll, you'll maybe even hear that term foster fail because so many foster dogs end up being such a wonderful fit for families that they end up staying 
forever. So I hope this video was helpful and I hope that you consider looking at a rescue dog when you choose your perfect pet. Thanks for watching. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.